So, now to the race baby Game of Thronesy article. You know it, you love it, you see it. That's not the one. I gotta get into the right article. The House of Dragon stars Steve Toussaint slams racist viewers. They're not happy, or they're happy with a dragon flying, but not a rich black guy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, what's that? This is a fictional universe. They have dragons. And they have dead white walker zombie things that walk around. There's magic and weird stuff in this. Not a whole lot, but for crying out loud. My only question was, wouldn't whatever albinism cause the white hair cause all their skin to go super duper white? But that clearly wasn't the case with any of the other people who are Targaryens. I know there's an in-universe canon reason for all their hair being white. I never cared or read enough, deep enough, to be offended that they're... Like, like did you did you take issue with it as somebody who's never seen the show before? Not particularly. No, no. Here we go. House of Dragons star Steve Toussaint, who plays Lord Corliss Val- Valerian, a.k.a. the Sea Snake. On the series, slam viewers of the Game of Thrones prequel who took issue with his casting. I just got even confused because he and Lenny Henry were both like the quote unquote black guys that they hired for both of these great expansions on, well, we need more Game of Thronesy fantasy things, so we need more of color, diversity, diversity, diversity actors. Incredibly diverse, diversity, diverse, diversity. Guys, look at the moon. <laughs> diverse, 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 diversity, diversity. So I forgot which one was in which show. But that's just a me not being able to tell these shows apart because they're all kind of samesy. Especially when they all have like fantasy and magic elements, right? Right? Seems right. to be hard for people to swallow. They're happy with a dragon flying around, happy with white hair and violet colored eyes, but a rich black guy? That's beyond the pale. Really? Who told you this? The same people that, pe- that said that people had an issue with Reva? On a freaking, freaking oh, Obi Wan. Oh, Someone sh- had say my name. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! We said the name, and now it might pop up. Oh, Do I have it? I will find you, Macaranda. Oh, you're not. I will find you. She's out of the game, Gabby. Really? No. Well, luckily she's not in the game capture, so we don't have to read what she has to say. Well, he's never explicitly described as white as George R.R. Martin's Fire and Blood, from which House of Dragons is adapted. I mean, imagine the character. So there you go. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. His ancestors are Valerian. His hair is described in the books as Targaryen white blonde. Okay, if they're just saying the hair. However, Toussaint notes, those who feel his casting is unrealistic have no problem into buying into the existence of dragons. And ma- Who said? Do you have any actual example, or are you just imagining it? This is the same type of thing when they imagined everyone was mad about the Little Mermaid, and like most of the stuff said, well, why not change the character title if you're going to change the the lore of the story for the Little Mermaid? Because remember, with Halle Bailey's version, that has nothing to do with the the was it Swedish mythology? Hans Christian Andersen is that Swedish or Norwegian? Danish. Same difference, though. Uh, Scandinavian, whatever. So it's more of a Caribbean or, or, or origin story now. So why not change the title of it, you know? But people weren't saying, oh, a black girl can't be a mermaid. People were saying, well, if you're going to go the Caribbean route, maybe change the name so that you don't erase people's character that they identify with. How about that? I don't know. So he notes, those who feel his casting is unrealistic have no problem in buying into the existence of dragons and magic. Not to mention that screen adaptations often stray from matching the exact character descriptions. Well, I mean, so the violet eyes and white hair. I can't see his eyes. I see a white hair. Who cares? What's been wonderful is for every toxic person that has somehow found their way into my timeline, there have been so many others who have been supportive. Like, oh my god, I can't wait. This is going to be great. See, the most thing I've heard negative about Game of Thrones was that people were still butthurt over the last season being awful. So that those people aren't coming back for this one. 
even when we're doing certain scenes, there would be supporting artists who would come up and be like, it's great to have this representation. I don't know what here's my representation, all right? This is, this is Game of Thrones. We know it's a fictional universe. If I were there sitting there expecting to see only white characters, then I'd have this whole diatribe written down about why these characters need to be. And, and frankly, I'm just not that kind of racially obsessed sort of person to care that much. All right, there's a few things when I'll say, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. How does swapping anything and taking away from one person be inclusive and bring more seats to the table? But they didn't do that. This isn't a race swap. This isn't a, they, I mean, they didn't even specify in the book according to this article. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, which I'll try and make sure are turned on. That wasn't my fault on my review. I reviewed the first episode of this. I'll probably keep watching it. And uh, what, what did you think of this guy in the role, Rob? Uh, seem fine to me. Seem fine, like oh, hey, he's pretty good. Yeah, you you weren't wondering why he has white hair when the rest uh, of them no, have white hair. Really, yeah, I didn't call any attention to it. It was like, you know, how does thou have dark skin and white hair? You know, nobody nobody said anything. It was like, okay, just go with it. Well, which so is there, kind of the way you want to do it, you know. Well, I mean, it, and if you've seen any of it, like the whole the whole clan, the that. Uh, that they kind of refer to in this series, they all have that white hair, which is not officially a, a form of albinism, which I kind of would assume, had this been something taking place in real world, real life Z's. I, I do have a tweet on this. Let me see if I can find it. I responded to, to the tweet thread. Oh, I've been busy on Twitter all day. This guy, I felt included there should be more black people. A lot of European history lies about the influence of Africans in Europe. A lot of Spanish domes and Greek theater is actually African, and Pythagoras didn't study in Greece, he studied in Africa. The racism is so exhausting. Uh, yeah, Game of Thrones you know isn't a real why? country, though. You know why? Because a lot of those people were, were brought, and you're not gonna, people are not going to like to hear this, a lot of those people were brought to Europe as slaves. Well, and we all know that black African slavers went in and got their quote-unquote own people to sell to the white Europeans, but that's not even part of the point. Game of Thrones is a mythical country. It's not literal Europe, right? Like, it's, it's Westeros. It's a fictional place. Sure, it might have some basis on reality and Earth, but it's not, it's not a real place. It's not a real country. I don't care what color the actors are. And that's the thing. They showed us they showed us a dragon real quick in Matt Smith's butt. They didn't build up to anything. And I mean, how many seasons did it take for us to actually see a dragon in Game of Thrones? Like three seasons? Two and a half? Oh, for crying out loud. So there's a lot of stuff wrong with this, but this race bait crap is just to market it. And guess what? It doesn't even matter because it still debuted as what, the highest? The biggest series premiere in HBO's history Sunday with 10 million viewers after debuting the first episode. It crashed the servers. So, for crying out loud. Crashes for thousands in minutes. So, I don't think this race bait crap is A, necessary, B, accurate, C, has anything to do with anything. People are so over it, people are so tired of it, the people who want to tune in and see what this is about are gonna regardless of your race bait stupid BS articles. So, Martin did say, Game of Thrones is an allegory for older Britain. That's why there's no Asians in the books or they do exist in his world. But still, but still, he didn't specifically say this guy was white skinned. And, and even as an allegory for, for the UK and, and ancient Britain, Allegory, you can take some liberties. Sure, sure, the Wall of the North is an allegory for Hadrian's Wall. But guess what? I've been there. I've been there. And what's left of it anyway. And uh, it wasn't that tall and it wasn't keeping out giant zombie monsters. It was just keeping out the, the rougher people from the other side, which is literally like right there in the middle of Newcastle too. It's like right there on the Tyne River. You can see the whole museum. I've been there. 
it's fiction. It's a fictional universe. If people are this butthurt and need these characters to be a certain race, then I'm sorry, you're a racist. If you need to write out some diatribe video essay on why these characters... Same thing with Game of... or, or with, uh, with Lord of the Rings, too. I'm so sick of hearing it at this point because unless you're specifically a specific real-life historical character, I'm to the point now where I really, really don't care. Unless you're, you're taking a character that already exists and swapping it, I just don't want to hear it anymore. I am Mecca, and I am going back to my game. We just won. Neater, neater. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! You've really opened up my eyes.